How's it going, everybody? Kevin Gleason, Team Rider 264. Today I'm in uh, Pauley's Island, South Carolina, at a beautiful little nine-hole course located at Stables Park called Warriors Run Disc Golf Course. The course was put in three or four years ago by Jonathan Poole over at Enaba, and he did a wonderful job with the nine holes out here. Um, it's a fun little technical course. There's short baskets and long baskets, depending on when you're here. Uh, you know, you'll have to see where the baskets are. The baskets are located in the short position today. So I'm gonna go out here and throw some shots, show you what the course looks like. And, um, you know, if you're anywhere close to the Myrtle Beach area, it's only about 35, 45 minutes from Myrtle Beach. I would definitely suggest taking the time to bring your family down here. It is a very family friendly course. And um, I'm happy to have this five minutes away from our, uh, our family home. So I come out here as much as possible. Enjoy. Got my towel. This is covered in sand. Who are oh, you? Oh, I'm in the Myrtle Beach area. My name's Bone with Team Focus. Um, we do a lot of team fundraising stuff around here, trying to get the community up going. Uh, big into the youth program that's going to be starting here on Friday nights at Sherwood Park in Conway. So I hope to nice. see everybody out there. That starts this Friday. What time? Yeah, uh, 5:30 at night. We're going to start doing it. Um, we're going to be putting flyers out too in the local area. So hopefully we get that going uh, fairly soon. Here. Now you get a flyer, I'll put it in the video. Cool. Try to get it out there more. Uh, what do you think of this course? Oh, this course is beautiful. Uh, people who take care of it, which is kind of a small community. I know there's a guy named Mr. Tom Jonathan Poole and Mr. Tate. Tate Jones comes out here. Yeah. He does a lot of picking up little things, but it's beautiful. <clears throat> this is a course where you have to watch what you throw. Uh, it's going to make you think about it because of the OB. So a lot of these short courses are beautiful for your pitch and putt also. It really makes you understand a little bit more about disc golf. We're not just throwing discs. We're uh, precision throwing is what we're doing out here. Yeah, I talked to Tom the other day, a couple days ago out here. Yeah, Tom's awesome, man. Okay, let's throw some more. Uh-oh. That's what you don't want to do if you get one. You want to actually <laughs> throw it straight. Okay. Right there beside of mine. A couple drop ins. Short pin, yeah, everything's short right now. I like the long pin. I do too. I like uh, trying, well, it's a little overgrown now, but two years ago I was throwing rollers that way. Oh, really? In big flex. Nice. But then they put the OB tight right and I stopped doing that. So I guess this is a 363, one of the longer holes out here. Got some nice guardian trees to block it. Part of it. Maybe parked? Probably. Mm -hmm. Usually I go past it because it's short. You know? Yeah. Where's my dad? Unbelievable. Can we pick you up? Indeed, sir. See, y'all sometimes say that it's more than one putt. I only do one putt. That's a beautiful course. Okay, we're going to go Can I Annie at it or straight at it? Which way? I go straight at it for me. Okay. So I'm throwing four hands, so I don't know. I don't throw four hands. <laughs> Come on. 
It, it went straight. It's not turning over. Go over the other side. Water. Oh, bitch. I don't really have my name on it either. I'm so ready to try to ace that one down the middle. That's a line? No, that's a local line. So does Chris come out here and sit all day? Yeah, most of the time. Well, no, he leaves and comes back, but he might sit out here because he's not going home. But yeah. Oh. Um, Saka Steve, he lives right down the road. Like, that's legit. Terrible.